Hello guys, how are all you doing? I hope everyone is doing great. I am back because I just finished a journal for a very special lady. Um, and I just wanted her to see it and I wanted to share it with you all. So this is a big one. The I hope you love it. I hope you like it. Um, this journal is a hardcover, two signature junk journal. And it measures 11 by 8. So um, let me tell you all what I did. So it's a hardcover, fabric covered journal and I added metal corners and then for the front I added some corrugated cardboard little bow made of twine I backed it onto a couple of layers of fabric little piece of metal there this is um that PVC leather and I just stamped journal on it added some muslin and a little lace down here and added this here with some wooden buttons. The spine, as you can see, I made the ridges. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up, but I added some ridges for the spine, so that why that's why the spine is, um, you know, nothing on it, so the ridges can can be featured there. And then um, it's all covered in this um, upholstery fabric. The tassel is removable. It's just attached with a bulldog clip. And I just added some laces, a flower, and a... This is from a vintage necklace. And I took it apart. And then it has some pearls and things dangling. So it'll look real cute on her shelf. So I just added this um, ribbon that I had. And I just um, weaved some uh what is that trim and that's what i use for the closure so let's get right in like i said it's a two signature journal i reinforced the spine really well with tyvek and fabric so here in the front pocket i made a little pocket made of that um what is it called snippet roll and then i made her a book mark i still have to make her pen so that will be in here and i want to dangle a couple of things from here but i just wanted to get the journal um done and shown before anybody gets some house and then it's a bookmark that i made and then i had this little thing here that i'm going to send her and then she had sent me these so i made it into a little booklet for her here I made a pocket. Now these sent me um, almost all of this paper that she wanted me to put in the book. So um, that's what I did and I added some of mine. She wanted an eclectic book so um, she didn't want no kits. So this is what I did. I had this page, put it in there. And this is that Mulberry handmade paper. And then I added some um, postcards and things in here. I'm not going to pull everything out, but I added a little um, cigarette card and a vocabulary card, and I just added this um, rickrack there. Here is a beautiful hanky embroidered, and I did some stenciling, and then I just added that so she can journal. My bookmark. I had gotten these off of eBay. They are a replica of the vintage um vintage uh die cuts. They're super cute. Added some vocabulary book page there. A little um muslin, not muslin. Yeah, it is muslin that I stamped there. She liked the Franken pages, so that's what I did. 
I, I made a baggie out of a magazine page and I just made a large journal card out of the comics. Some beautiful, um, I forget what that's called. It's very early guys. Then this flips up so because it's so pretty I didn't want to cover anything but she can still journal here and then I just added some some things in there and she can still journal in here. I added some of this because the paper was very fragile so I just had to just put it on. I had this uh, big placemat. It's like glassine placemat so I added that there. I wanted to turn this into a pocket but when you open it, you wouldn't have been able to open it because of these ridges. So I had to just leave it like that. And then she can journal here and then she can open it up. And that's another journal spot. Added some laces on the top. Added a vintage book page. And then I had um, some playing cards. And so I turned them into little booklets. So extra little thing. And then I just kept it closed with this little paper clip there. Here is um, some, uh, I forget what this is called. And then I have a pocket there that I forgot to put something in. But I still have some stuff that she had sent. So I'll just do that. I'll add this in here. These, um... They're prescriptions from the 1800s. And then she, it flips out and I just put another light piece there and stenciled. Here is a tag. And then these are all vintage papers. Here I turned it into some pockets. And she can also journal in here. Some Edith Holden. I cut him out and I just glued him down there. And doily. I'm not sure what this paper is, but she sent it. I think it's like rice paper or something. I'm not sure. And then here is a magnetic envelope that I made out of the maps. So I just added a piece of fabric there and then the front. And then in here, I added some of <clears throat> the prescriptions from... 1892 and again I back these onto tracing paper so you can still see the back but that's a way to save them so they don't you know crumble because they're so fragile and because it's magnetic I don't even need a paper clip so it just magnetizes there some of these book pages they feel so good so I didn't want to cover that and they had an image so I just backed it onto coffee dye paper and she can journal there and then you still have the beautiful image down here. Added some of the trim that she sent. And then here is a coin roll and I just added um, a paper clip and then I added um, one of these guys so she can pull it out and journal and then there is a little saying there vintage postcard so that gets put there beautiful handkerchief another um, stamped piece of material and then here's a large tag that I just made like a corner pocket or kind of corner tuck and then these are vintage stamps and then I put another die cut piece there she can journal in here and then I made these multi pockets with some um, little little things in here. And then I did this layered flip. I better hurry up because this video is going to be too long. So she can journal all on that. And then a peekaboo butterfly down there. Here is a. Um, pocket that I made out of uh, the parchment when you um, when you coffee dye paper you put the parchment down some stenciling there I cut her out and then this flips out an altered um, tea bag 
and I just added those pieces there. I didn't want to cover this. This is so pretty, so I left it as is. Here I put a vintage label. And then I took a time card and I added some paper in the back and little pieces there and a little die piece there. And then some vintage labels. Um, this is gift wrapping paper and I turned it into a bag. And then I just put some pieces in there. This is from a magazine that I had and I just cut it out and backed it onto coffee dye paper and stitched it. And I forgot to put something in here, but um, she's going to get a goodie pack anyway with, with stuff that I didn't get to use and um, stuff that I made. This is a paper clip that I made out of a um, one of those nature books. This piece of, uh, I think it's wallpaper, but it's it's got that like velvety feel here. So I just added a little piece up there and she can journal in the back. And I made an altered guest check. And this opens. And it's a hollow book, hollow spine, so it lays pretty flat. Um, the book does not crocodile out. But because I added all of this ephemera in, it got a little chunkier, so it kind of crocodiled a little bit. But she can always take that all of it out if she wants to, if she wants to make the book very flat and add it as she goes. I made this belly band out of this image from a magazine page, and I backed them onto lace. And then here is a beautiful vintage page. It's a hymnal. I backed it onto coffee dye paper and stitched it so it doesn't crumble. Vintage flash card, these little beautiful little tags, playing card, and she can always either put gesso here or something in journal there as well. Here's some of that mulberry paper. And then this is, I put another die cut there. And then this flips. So she has lots of journaling space. And then she can journal there. And this is the onion skin dyed paper. More stenciling, Edith Holden. I took these little vocabulary pages. I wrapped them around. And then I took my Stabilo pencil and went around the edge. Here's a fabric pocket, and then this is a little spot to journal, and then another journal tag, and I did some stenciling there. Added little bits and pieces of those vintage book pages, and then here's another prescription. And then this flips up, and I just stenciled a little bird there. Here is another prescription and another tag. And another little piece there. I went over it with the billow. And here is a flip. She can journal in the back and then down. And then here is an old maid card. And I just slid it right here. And added some trim up top. Another little die cut piece. I got an itch in my eye. Another one that I cut out, I fussy cut her out and backed her onto some lace. And then I took this um, magazine page, backed it onto some onion skins paper. And then here, it's this magnetic. And I didn't add anything in here but I'm gonna send it to her so that she can add it because I didn't want it to get too bulky for shipping but these are all little pages I mean little pockets that she can add things in and then it magnetizes down here's a pocket and I have these little precious moments you can color this and then another receipt there not receipt prescription 
Here again is a pocket filled with some tags. And then here's a little tag. A wallpaper pocket. Another Precious Moments postcard. And then here is a little flip. And then here's a large tag with another old, old receipt. And then here is another prescription. This is fabric. Here's another large pocket with another one of these. And I did some stenciling there. Added some trim there as well. I love that image, so I didn't want to cover it. Here is another bag that I made with the gift wrap. And I had this um, card. So what I did is I covered the happy birthday inside with some coffee dyed paper and added a piece there. And so she can use that too. Two more journal cards. Here is another layered super pretty and then she has again this in there and I added a piece down here some more stenciling another one that I fussy cut out and then here is a couple more tags Is a vintage postcard with another prescription. Another um, paper clip. This is Braille. She can journal here, she can journal there, and I added some little die cuts butterfly. Here's another tea bag. I fussy cut this out too and stenciled on the page. Here's another large tag. I love this image. Book page. I made this into a little pocket. And there's a snippet here. And another large tag. And another old May card. Beautiful napkin, I mean handkerchief. And then I took and put all the stamps on this um, little fabric edge. Another vintage, not vintage, um, die cut there. Another book page and I backed it onto coffee dye paper. Another tag, another couple little things in there. These are little pockets and I just added that little thing there and all of it come out. She can journal there. She can journal in here. So she still has room to play in her journal. A vintage stamp and a piece of uh, a die cut piece. And then in here I put some goodies. And then here are some more goodies and another die cut piece. Here again, I did a one of these. This opens up and then I took a stamp and backed it onto some book page and coffee dyed paper. And that goes in there. Some more stenciling, another old book page that I backed onto coffee dye paper. I love this and I cut her out too. And some more of that trim on the edge of the page. There's a belly band um, out of this leftover book page. And then I just added some, some goodies in there the blue chip stamps i just made a row on the top another die, die cut piece 
And they, these are pockets. <laughs> these are pockets. I'll put something in there. I'll put like playing cards or something in there. And this is um that, uh what is it called? Oh, I forget. That. So, there she got that. You know how cute the kittens Here are some vintage pieces, except for the guest check, that's not vintage. And here is another um, envelope, and I filled it up with some goodies. It's magnetic, so that goes in there. I added this little label down here, it's a vintage label, another stamp piece of fabric some checks and things and a tag I love all the birds so cute that's why they cover it and then here is again some journaling space and she can journal down there here I made a um, I think I made this with yeah parchment as well but I decoupage a napkin onto it and then you got a couple pieces there. I cut out, um, this was from the magazine and I turned it into a paper clip. And I have another one here. I gotta add that in there somewhere. Hold on. Let me, let me put it on over here somewhere. Anyway, I'll, I'll put it in. That's a paper clip. I cut out the, little advertisement and I made it into a paper clip just like that one too more stenciling here's another pocket this was a table runner and I just cut it and made a pocket another die piece there this opens up some vintage pages some more vintage pages this is a glassine envelope that I had postcard in there and I just added some uh, rickrack, a little snippet and stamp fluttering on material. And then here's a vintage postcard with another one of these guys. Added some vintage book page there. I took this magazine page and turned it into a pocket and I added some pieces in there. And then I had this long um, vocabulary card. I added a die piece there. And then here, that um, mulberry paper. So she can journal there. And then here is another little, those booklets that I made with playing cards. And again, this folds down in this all po wallpaper pockets and it's magnetic here is another little booklet that goes in there and a couple more pieces and this came out of a magazine that I cut out and then I backed it onto coffee dye paper and a postcard and that is the book so although it has a lot she's I gave it a big um, spacing between both I measured this out as if I was in, gonna put in three signatures but I only put two in so that um, she has room to expand it I think I'm gonna put this here On this side that has nothing and then um that cute and then um she can you know add more stuff or take some out and add her own stuff you know she has more of her own things but this is it guys i hope you like it i hope you love it d i made it with so much love all right guys thank you all for watching I will talk to you all in my next video.